Hey, Trainer Weaves here with this week's Pokemon Go News Summary. Now you may have noticed there's a whole lot of eggs and rabbits and sheep kicking about right now. That's because we are in the middle of the extravaganza, as they're calling it. Which is basically a spring-ish, Easter-ish event that celebrates eggs. So to celebrate these eggs, we have double hatch candy from eggs. We have... Incubator effectiveness is now doubled, so if you put a 2k egg in a normal incubator, you only have to walk 1km. If you put a 5k egg in, you only have to walk 2.5km, and so on. Going alongside that, they've actually changed the egg pool. All the babies have been added to the 2k egg pool at the moment, so get rid of your eggs, go out there, spin those stops, and get your 2ks, because so many of the babies also have shiny forms. And that would include Pichu, Cleffa, Togepi, Smoochum, Elekid, Magby, Azurel, Why Not, and Budju. And for this event, they've also released Shiny Iglybuff. And finally on bonuses, we have double lucky egg time. So if you put on a lucky egg, you now get double XP for an hour instead of 30 minutes. When you do see Buneary everywhere, this is good because Shiny Buneary is now out. So you can hopefully, if you're lucky, enjoy those cute little cotton candy ears. And we also have research just for this event, which is hatch one egg, hatch three eggs, or hatch five eggs. And for that, you will get a Baneri, an Azumarill, or a Chansey. The extravaganza runs until 22nd April, 1 o'clock Pacific time, which means 9 p.m. British time, or 5 a.m. the following day in Japan. May Community Day has just been announced, and this month will feature Torchic. So you can enjoy hunting for these beautiful little chicken baby things, chicken babies, chicks, who are slightly, slightly lighter than the others. I mean, actually, Toy Chick has its colors reversed. So the bits that were orange, yellow, the bits that were yellow were orange. And then Combusken and Blaziken are here. So Community Day will be on Sunday this time, 19th May, and it will run from 3 to 6 p.m. in your local time. As always, we'll have three hour lures, and the bonus this time is Triple Stardust! Yay! Blaziken's move has not been announced yet, but there will definitely be one. Latios is back in raids this week, and the shiny form is out, but I do not have a McDonald's toy with a shiny Latios, so this is all you're getting. It's sharing tier 5 raids with the current raid boss, and that is Giratina. By the looks of it though, it seems like about 90% of the raids are coming out Latios at the moment, so good luck getting your shinies. That will also last until 22nd April, 1pm Pacific Time, 9pm British Time, or 5am Japan. Latios is a dragon type, just like Giratina, so you could just use your same battle teams for that. You can also use ghost types, or if you have a Mamoswine with Avalanche, go for that guy. Niantic are also running a challenge over summer, and this is the Ghost Snapshot Challenge, which is an AR photo competition, basically. So, right now, until 29th April is the first of those challenges and that is called the Buddy Challenge. What you do is take a photo of you with your buddy and then either tweet it or post it on Instagram explaining what your buddy's name is, why he's your buddy, and what he means to you. That last part wasn't technically in the competition rules, but they tweeted it out, so if you haven't already entered, make sure you do that as well. You also have to make sure you tag it with hashtag ghost snapshot and hashtag buddy challenge, otherwise your entry won't be counted. The buddy challenge is the first of three challenges, and for each challenge there will be three winners, one grand prize and two runners up. All three of the winners will get their own customized Pokestop in their hometown, which will display their photo, so try and make it a good one. It will have to be a good one because it is not a lucky draw, it is, they're describing it as a skill competition. So the winner will be handpicked. On top of the Pokestop prize, the grand prize winner will also get tickets for two people and flights and accommodation to the GoFest of their choice. So you could choose to go to Chicago, Dortmund, or the as yet unannounced GoFest in Asia. These same three prizes apply to the future challenges as well. The next challenge will be the Habitat Challenge, and that will be take an AR photo of a Pokemon in its habitat. And the third challenge is called Go Create. That one doesn't start until May, and that is basically open creativity, do whatever you want, within reason. There's a whole bunch of terms and conditions, so I'll link those below. Go check them out, and good luck with your photos, but not too much luck, because I want to win. If you live in England, I have a job for you. 
The nests change on Thursday and I need to know where to find a shuckle nest in England or maybe Scotland or Wales. I don't think I want to go overseas. But the Singapore Safari Zone starts on Thursday and that is when they will be officially launching Shiny Shuckle. And Shuckle is the best Pokemon and his shiny form is so cute, so I want one. While sometimes when they release a shiny form at a Safari Zone, they boost the spawns worldwide, I don't know if they're going to do that this time. Because they didn't for Psyduck, they didn't for Sandshrew, they did for Wingull, but if they don't, then I'm going to have to go and hunt out Shuckle at a nest, and Shuckle nests seem to be few and far between. I've had a look right now, there seems to be one nest in London and basically none across the rest of the UK. So do me a favour, if you're in travelling distance from London, I'm sitting here like, do I want to go to France? I mean, it would be cheap, but that might be a little bit extreme to hunt Shuckle. Anyway, if you think you're in reasonable travelling distance of London and you see a Shuckle nest, tweet me or post in the comments, but I need pictures and proof because I'm not going traipsing around the country to find your fake Shuckle. As it turns out, they did actually accidentally release Shiny Shuckle early and Sentosa, which is the area that the Safari Zone was, had a bit of an outburst of Shuckle, but the outburst has now been fixed Presumably Shiny Shuckle has also been fixed, but it's definitely coming somewhere this weekend. So, I really want one. When they announced the Go Fests the other week, I talked about how one of the websites said that the tickets would be bought through the app. Niantic have now released more details on that. So what's going to happen is the Pokemon Go app will get a new button that's marked Events. Go in there, click on that, and you can enter the lottery to buy tickets, which apparently is now the way to buy tickets. You enter the lottery, then you win a ticket buying window in which you can buy your tickets. And then you can go off and buy tickets for yourself, you can buy tickets for a few friends. They do have to be on the same day, so you can't buy, say, a ticket for you on Thursday, a ticket for your friend on Friday, and so on. You just buy a batch of tickets and they're all for Thursday, as an example. You also need to have your friends' trainer names and don't get typos if your friends have like loads of weird numbers or whatever. Make sure you get the names right, because you have to enter the names when you're paying for the tickets. And then Niantic will send your tickets to your friends somehow. You also need to be great friends with the people you're buying tickets for, but that's only a seven day of interactions anyway, so... Not such a huge deal. Full details on the ticket system are, again, linked below. A while back, Niantic posted about supporting Earth Day cleanups around the world. These are happening over the next three weeks, and if you want to participate, pick up some litter, clean up the environment, do good things. Niantic are partnering with a bunch of non-government organizations, and if enough people participate, then they will put bonuses in both Pokemon Go and Ingress. So to find the Niantic supported cleanups, go to niantic.playmob.com, and I'll link that below, and that's where you can try and find cleanups near you. You do have to be registered on the website to be counted. So for the bonuses, they've said that if 2,000 players attend and clean up, there will be a global boost of ground-type Pokémon. If 5,000 players attend and clean up, there will be the ground-type boost, and also they will release Shiny Diglett. And if 7,000 players attend and clean up, there will be boost of ground-type, Shiny Diglett, Groudon will come back in raids, and there will be double catch Stardust and double catch Candy for Pokémon appearing during the event plus some stuff for Ingress. These events are happening all over the world for Earth Day, so take a look, maybe there's one near you. That's all the news I have this week, so thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, or you learned stuff, or both, please hit the like button, think about subscribing, and I'll see you next time, goodbye! Tell me about the shuckle.